Uh, we've got the RBI policy coming up on Tuesday. Let me just touch up uh, on the uh, bond markets before we get down to the NDTV Profit Bankers poll. Uh, the bond markets are more or less trading steady with about 8.12% on uh, the new benchmark bond, which is 2022. There isn't much of an expectation. Uh, there are some in the bond market saying that there's still about a 50% probability uh, of a rate cut coming in from the RBI. But uh, most economists, most corporates seem to have given up hope that the RBI will cut rates, uh, largely based on the fact that what they had said would be preconditions for rate cuts in their mid-quarter review don't seem to have been met, starting with a decline in inflation, starting also with some efforts from the government on fiscal consolidation. Before I get across to Shugata Bhattacharya, uh, I'm going to go across to Ritu Jindal, who's been polling uh, the bankers to try and understand what is expected. Uh, she's joining us with the results of that poll. Ritu. Hi, you know, uh, the consensus this time around is clearly towards no expectation, at least as far as the, on the rate front, uh, essentially. 90% of our respondents, uh, economists, as well as bankers, said that they, will know, they don't expect any change on the repo rate of this policy, neither uh, do a majority expect any change in the CRR. So on the CRR front also, it's an 80, a good 85% which say that there would be no change. However, for the rest of this year, uh, we are still uh, slightly on the positive side, uh, though there's a good 65% say that there's, there's likely to be a very little 25 to 50 basis points worth of cut on the uh, repo rate for the rest of this fiscal. So the expectations of rate cuts have clearly been toned down quite substantially. On the CRR front also it's largely coming in from the bankers whatever the CRR cut expectations are because the liquidity situation is already fairly good right now. So 75% uh, still believe that for the rest of this fiscal we will not see any change in the CRR just yet. However many of the bankers did say that yes uh, there will be some change. They continue to expect at least 25 to 50 basis points. More importantly for this policy we would also watch out for RBI's language on the, uh, the GDP growth as well as on the inflation front. Uh, there's a good, uh, you know, a heavy majority. Uh, Close to 90% expect that the RBI will revise the GDP growth numbers lower. 65% expect the GDP numbers to be revised uh, uh, to 6.5 to 7%. Uh, uh, there's a good 25% which expect it to be even lower at 6 to 6.5%. Uh, just about 10% believe that RBI may want to wait for the monsoons to actually play out completely and only then change its guidance, if at all. Uh, on the inflation front, uh, uh, there's a good uh, you know, 60% say that RBI will not keep, not change the inflation forecast just yet, keep it at 6.5% that it has. 25% uh, say that yes, it will uh, possibly raise it up to 6.6 6 to 7%, and 15% say that uh, RBI will raise to over 7% uh, as soon as uh, uh, the policy on July 31st. So watch out for uh, some of uh, these guidance numbers from the RBI. But as of now, at least on the rate front, there is no expectation of any change uh, just yet. Back to you. Right. Ritu Jindal, thanks so much for getting us that poll. So most uh, participants suggesting that the RBI will hold on to a status quo. Let me get Shagato Bhattacharya in. He's Senior Vice President of Business and Economic Research at Access Bank with his thoughts. Uh, Shagato, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, are you in the camp that's also saying uh, no rate action likely or do you think there is an outside chance uh, that the RBI may do something? I think uh, economic fundamentals seem to suggest uh, that, they, that the RBI will hold on, uh, will uh, maintain its pause. Uh, I personally would like to see a further easing of monetary policy at this point in time, but I, uh, a, a cool, dispassionate uh, look at the economic fundamentals suggests that there have really not been too many changes uh, since April and June, when the strong RBI statements on, as you said, uh, preconditioning its monetary policy stance on various other policy, uh, fiscal policy particularly, uh, has, has changed. Uh, so really, I mean, the only real change uh, that I can see is that the global situation seems to have uh, worsened significantly since that time, uh, particularly the events of the last uh, couple of weeks. And uh, despite the ECB, as, as, as you mentioned, the ECB and, and other European policy authorities um, trying to make a claim that uh, they, they, will, they will deal with the situation, I think there is significant uh, chance of a of a deterioration in the global environment, and that that's probably the only, not even the drought, not even not even a, the prospects of a much worse than than expected rainfall. I think that's the the global environment is the only uh, change in economic fundamentals which might prompt the RBI on the out as an outside chance to to cut rates at this point in time. 
Ashavata, since you mentioned the global factors, I think a lot of people have taken off from what other central banks have done. You know, even Asian central banks like Bank of Korea and uh, suggested or argued that maybe the RBI should follow suit. But I think our domestic conditions are probably a lot different than any of these. Uh, even say Korea, which may be uh, the best comparison to make, uh, they don't have the kind of inflation problem or the kind of fiscal issues that we are facing. So uh, not a fair comparison uh, on final analysis. I, I think you're absolutely right on that era because uh, uh, in, in addition to the factors that you mentioned that their economic fundamentals are, are, uh, are better than, 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 than that of India, I think that their exposure to the global markets via their exports is much higher. Um, so in the event of something happening or, or, or a slowdown in exports in global uh, world trade and global imports, uh, those economies are likely to be far more affected than uh, India would. So our, our sense is that the RBI at this point in time, given the improvement in liquidity, and, and liquidity is probably not likely to become as bad as it was uh, the last year. And uh, given the fact that the rupee, in the absence of other policy reforms, the rupee is likely to remain weak, uh, the earlier RBI indication that exports might be a potential driver of growth, uh, that stance will still remain uh, the, the same in this policy. So. Uh, on the on the I, I don't know really what what other measures they might try on the export front uh, but they would probably take the call that uh, the weak rupee is likely to push India's exports and uh, that will be the that will be one one driver of growth uh, in in this slowing environment Ashagata, on the monsoon side, they'll probably highlight that more from an inflation risk perspective than a downside growth risk perspective. Uh, again, I, I think you're completely right. I, although uh, I, I, they, they will do exactly that, as you said, uh, that uh, the inflationary, uh, uh, the, the, the impact on inflationary expectations due to the, uh, the, the worsening monsoon uh, situation, and probably and also the impact on the fiscal side. Uh, that, that's another side, that, that's another effect um, of a bad monsoon. Uh, so the two will probably uh, more than offset uh, the concern on growth. Uh, I, I, we, we think that we are uh, definitely or likely headed towards a sub-6 growth, uh, particularly with the, with the impact of the monsoon. But despite that, uh, they will probably take the call that uh, the slowing growth rising from the, from the, uh, from the poor rainfall and, and uh, relatively poor agricultural growth situation will not be as amenable to uh, policy, monetary policy movements as uh, the potential inflationary impacts. Uh, I, I think they will be very, very worried that uh, uh, increasing, as, as they have highlighted in the June policy, uh, that headline inflation is likely to translate into a worsening wage price spiral. And unfortunately, uh, the data that we've seen, uh, uh, the, the corporate uh, data that we've seen in terms of the wage price increases, unfortunately seems to suggest that they are right on the aggregate although it's very very sector specific uh, difference i mean there, there are large differences across sectors uh, that they are somewhat justified in their concern in their fears uh, that uh, wage wages are seem to be to be responding to the high inflation environment all right, Shavata, last question then. A quick word on what you think they could revise on uh, the gdp forecast and also the inflation forecast if at all um, exactly as your correspondent suggested, I, I, my sense is that they will probably come in in the 65 to 7% range uh, for, for GDP growth. They will probably not take it down to 6, uh, but uh, there will be a clear indication of a downside risk in, in growth. And inflation, they will probably revise it into the 65 to 7% range with upside risks. Uh, so that's that's the tone that will that will come in uh, that'll probably come in uh, in the in the in the changed uh, growth and inflation uh, balance. All right, Chagato, thank you so much for uh, joining us and giving us your thoughts. Hope to uh, get your thoughts post policy at some point as well. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for Retina display, full screen view. Faster response time and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.